Tonight, I had a very awesome and unique experience at the movies. I went to go see a movie that I've never actually seen in the theater, and this was a perfect opportunity to go see this film because it was going to be Rift by Rift Tracks. The same team that brought us Mystery Science 3, Theater 3000, I believe. I don't really know these guys' name by heart, but I do love what they've done in the past, and I love. I, this is my second time actually going to the theater to see a movie that they're kind of making fun of. Well, really, they are poking fun and having a good time with it. They usually do movies that I've, I've heard about. They usually do movies that are popular because they're really, really bad. But the movie that they did tonight is called Super Troopers. Yes, Super Troopers, the 1997 Paul Verhoeven science fiction movie <laughs> that takes ideas, in my opinion, uh, that are from 90210 and Melrose Place and all those cheesy 90s sitcoms and puts them in the world of Star Wars. And I just really love his look and I love his style, especially when it comes to his science fiction, how he takes these really cool ideas and then also puts his satirical spin on them, especially when it comes to movies like Robocop, Total Recall, and now Starship Troopers. But I never saw this movie in the theaters. I've seen it countless times on video, and I do own the DVD, which I hold in my hand right now. And I really, really do love this film, but not in a guilty pleasure way. I don't feel guilty about enjoying this movie. I think this movie is a good movie, and it is bad on purpose. I think that was the intention, because it just feels that way. Uh, the special effects in this film uh, were, you know, were Oscar nominated in 1997. Of course, it lost to Titanic. But I think seeing these, I, I, I seeing these, these special effects on the screen again just looked really, really good. And I, it definitely deserved to be nominated. And at the same time, it was weird to see this movie being made fun of in such a very awesome and hilarious way. I, the guys. I don't know if it's like a mixture of improv and um, just having things laid out and written out, you know, having probably watched the movie previously just to get all the jokes into this. I mean, they just, they hit their marks at least 99.99% .99 of the time. I think a few jokes probably fell flat, but everything in this, everything that they said about this movie at the time that they were watching it was just spot on and hilarious and just added so much to this experience. When I'm going to watch this movie again after this, after I just saw it in the future, I know that I'm going to have some of these ideas in my head, and it doesn't bother me that much because I think this movie is ripe for being made fun of, and it still can be enjoyed even though it was really goofed on tonight. Because I think the people that uh, were involved, they, at least they said at the presentation, they said that Casper Van Dien really uh, supported that this film was going to be seen and also this film well this film was also going to be made fun of what is else is Casper going to be able to do yeah, I don't know if he's doing anything important these days but I wish him all the luck in the world but I uh, was just grateful to see this movie in the theater even though it was it was done in in a way where uh, we didn't really actually you know watch the movie the way that usually would you know, the, the audience went and saw it back in the 90s. We saw it in a way where these very talented men from Rift Tracks just teared it to shreds. But at the same time, I think that in their heart, they really, really enjoyed this movie. They're just, you know, they're just great. I mean, I just, I laugh so hard watching uh, this, this whole experience. There are just so many things that are in my head, and I'm not going to repeat them because I'll never do them justice like the way these guys does. It just, there's just, there's so much talent. Uh, tonight and I, I commend them and I'm looking forward to the next Rift Tracks. I believe that they're doing the 1968 classic zombie film from George Romero, Night of the Living Dead. I'm really interested to see that and see what they say about that film because I know that movie is revered as one of the greatest horror films ever made and I think that's a challenge on their part. I don't know if they're going to piss off a lot of people because of the, some of the things they said or just to have a good time and it's a good way to get the movie out there and get people talking about it again and uh, you know, it's, sometimes it's fun to experience a movie like that. I just hope, uh, I've heard about this, and I don't know if they're going to do it live someday, but I heard that they might do Twilight, and I would just love to see that movie ripped to shreds. But as a, as a, as a fan of, of Starship Troopers, it was fun to watch it in the screen again, it was fun to experience it this way, and I really look forward to watching this movie on its own, and try and remember some of the things I heard tonight. 
yeah, well, what a good time with the movies. I really enjoyed my experience, and I'm looking forward to seeing the next Rift Tracks live in the theater. I'm Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter, and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And if you love to go to the movies and check out every movie that's in the theaters right now, as long as it's in 2D, I highly recommend you check out MoviePass.com. Talk to you later and have a great day. Bye-bye.